Uh, well, I would say that most members of the American public watching that debate the other night would have agreed that they wouldn't. They would, if Joe was their father, they would take away the car keys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if it's somebody you wouldn't give the car keys to, why would you give them the world's largest nuclear arsenal? That's conservative commentator and man who made Shank Uger cry on live TV, Douglas Murray, pointing out what we all know about Joe Biden, but shills on the left are too afraid to say. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish, and it looks like Republicans weren't the only ones sounding the alarm about Biden's brain turning to mush. Apparently, so did the rest of the world. The world knows we're weak cats. The New York Times frets over America's image of the world stage. And the Wall Street Journal reveals that European officials at the G7, yes, that G7, knew that Biden was deteriorating and expressed concern. But no, I think it is serious. Actually. The Chinese media, among others, had a great time about the debate. They're saying, oh, this shows why democracy doesn't work and so on. Actually, it does look terrible for democracy. There are these two guys arguing about their golf scores. Um, but but it's also, it's also you know, uh, I do think that if you, if you look at... You, Tyrus referred to, you know, are we taken seriously and does the world fear America and all that sort of thing. I don't think that an American journalist would be currently sitting in a cell in Moscow. Mm-hmm or American uh, hostages would currently be sitting in Gaza if Good. the world feared America. That's a great point. Excellent, Mr. Murray. Always brings the point home. That's why we have him here. Also, he looks great in a jacket. Now, despite these concerns, Joe Biden has repeated that he's fully committed to staying in the race and probably humiliating himself in another debate. The only problem for Joe is the decision might not entirely be up to him anymore. However, if Democrats want to give Biden the boot, they're going to have to either run Harris or explain why they skipped over the first female Indian American identifying as an African American for president. Dems know Biden is fading faster than blue jeans and a bucket of bleach. But if they replace him, what do you do with Kamala Harris? She's about as helpful to Democrats as she is to the English language. But it's really a question of what can be unburdened by what has been. We see what can be unburdened by what has been. To see what can be unburdened uh. by what has been. Believing in what can be uh. unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened uh. by what has been. What can be unburdened by what has been. What can be ah. <laughs> unburdened by what has been. She's the first black female VP. If they pass her over with like a Gavin Newsom, uh, you can't do that. No, right? they can't do it. If you, It's if a DEI, you, this is a DEI world. If you live by DEI, you die by DEI. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you say we're gonna select somebody because they're from 7% of the population, then you're stuck with that idea. Mm -hmm. Uh, look, I find it excruciating, that clip. I, yes. It's not until the last few days I realized how many times she said that phrase. Yes. She says it all the time, as if it's very wise. But <laughs> she's a... No, she, she's a, She's going to be tricky to get, get um, pushed aside. I spoke to a Democrat last year who was sure that they were going to end up having to put her on the Supreme Court yeah. as the only way to sort of push her to the side. Mm. But I don't know how they do that. They're running out of weeks. That would, that's actually a good move because... It is, except we're stuck with her for life. Yeah, it's true. You know, you've got to love how all the problems Democrats are facing right now are related to things they pretend to care about. They say they love democracy and the international community, then run a candidate who's a global embarrassment, weakens our position in the world, and is a serious threat to our system of government. Meanwhile, the person most likely to replace them is just as bad, but the party's too terrified to skip over her because she's a useless DEI hire. But let me know what you think. Who would you rather have Trump face in this election, Biden or Harris? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching. Bye.